Welcome class of 2026. I am Debbie Finn, very proud principal at Highland Park High School. I am not only your future principal, but I too am a graduate of District 113, as are my children. I am so thrilled to welcome you all into our giant family. You may have noticed that we are all wearing this very cool t-shirt. We have a theme here at Highland Park High School, living a giant life, and we want you to be a part of our giant spirit. In a moment, you will watch a video that will provide you with a glimpse of the giant spirit that embodies our school. We want you to become involved in activities and athletics that match your interests and passions. We want you to share in our giant pride, and we want you to live a giant life. So enjoy the video. Up. This is going down by half every time. Oh, okay. I understand it now. So you knew it all along. Maybe I did. If there's one thing that I do know, it's that Highland Park High School is a remarkable place. This is gonna be the best day of my life. HPHS has so much to offer its students, including a wide range of challenging and interesting we'll just courses. Do this for every one of our yes. Taught by innovative, dedicated, and caring teachers. At HPHS, going to class isn't something you just do, it's something you can really get into. From HP sports fans to athletes all around, Highland Park provides tons of sports opportunities. The school gives students athletes an opportunity to participate in sports ranging from boys cross country we just made state! to girls volleyball, boys basketball, to girls track. Taylor Gilly. Knocked in by... At HPHS, you can find a giant selection of clubs and activities. These clubs range from Model UN... Her goal in this is to end the violence and the atrocities committed... ...to fencing, Hispanos Unidos... ...to HPTV. When I first came to HPHS, I did not expect to see such an outstanding fine arts department. Here at the high school, you can develop any artistic skill you desire. Acting. And the winner is... me. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Playing an instrument. Painting, photography, ceramics. Whatever you're interested in, the fine arts program here at HPHS is amazing. Homeroom is the best place for students to reset, build their connection to the giant community, and learn important updates and information. During Homeroom, students watch the HPTV announcements. It's December 8th, 2021. And welcome, bienvenidos, to your Wednesday announcements. View important videos about topics such as social emotional learning. There is no perfect, only the perfectly imperfect. And engage each other through pep rallies and group activities. Oh, this is my kid. When I first became a giant, I was impressed by Highland Park High School's desire to give back to the community. Key Club performs a minimum of two service projects every week, and Rotary Interact participates in 10 major service projects throughout the year. And then there's Charity Drive. Charity Drive is an opportunity for the whole school to rally together in support of a charitable organization of the students' choosing. It is a time filled with tradition, treats, games, and service. Thank you so much, everybody. You all made this possible. One thing is for sure about this school, the possibilities are endless. One day, you may be working with preschoolers, or teaching your peers how to code, or maybe even drawing a supply and demand graph with a piece of chalk on a sidewalk. And the next day, you may be performing at HP Idol. After all this wild jailbirds sing, let's rock. Everybody, let's rock. Who knows? You might just catch a celebrity in the hallway reminiscing about where his or her career began. And we were standing right here. I remember. Who knows what experiences will satisfy your appetite for a giant high school experience? Wow. This is so cool. 
Yes, HVHS has a lot to offer. It's like a giant makerspace, and I'm very excited about the opportunities and experiences that await you here at HVHS. This truly is a special place, and I am happy to be living the giant life. Every day, I am reminded that Highland Park High School's diverse student body is filled with creativity, school spirit, generosity, and so much energy. Bienvenidos a Highland Park High School. Me llamo Matt Wallace, uno de los vicedirectores de la escuela. Estamos emocionados de ofrecer varias oportunidades a los nuevos estudiantes para que continúen su educación de lenguaje dual durante su tiempo en Highland Park High School. Actualmente, ofrecemos una secuencia de clases de arte del idioma español para los estudiantes de lenguaje dual y también una variedad de cursos de contenido en varios departamentos que se enseñan en español para apoyar la experiencia de lenguaje dual. Cursos como Patrones de la Historia Mundial, la Educación Física para los Freshmen y la Introducción a los Negocios están disponibles. Además de los tres cursos de contenido para los Freshmen, ofrecemos otros cursos durante los otros años de high school. La Seguridad Vial, la Educación Física, la Biología y la Guitarra son las opciones en este momento. Esperamos expandir los cursos que ofrecemos a los estudiantes de lenguaje dual en el futuro para que sus estudiantes continúen su educación de lenguaje dual. Welcome. My name is Matt Wallace, one of the assistant principals here at Highland Park High School. Highland Park High School is excited to offer many opportunities to our incoming students to continue their dual language education throughout their time in high school. We currently offer a specific sequence of Spanish language arts classes for dual language students, as well as a variety of content area courses in multiple departments taught in Spanish to support the dual language experience. Classes such as Patterns of World History, Introduction to Business, and Freshman PE are available to our freshman dual language students. In addition to those three courses, we also offer the following dual language courses to non-freshman students, Traffic Safety, PE, Biology, and Guitar are some of the options right now. Our hope is to expand our course offerings in the near future in order to provide an opportunity for your students to continue their dual language experience here at Highland Park High School. Hello, everybody. I'm Jennifer Janopoulos, one of the co-department chairs of counseling. I'm also a school counselor and have been here for many years and absolutely love being a giant. I'm very excited to welcome your children, your students to also become future giants. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about courses, and I know that that's oftentimes what um, everybody's really eager to talk about. But before we even um, look at how to register for classes for freshman year, it's really important that everybody has completed their online registration. Online registration is different than course registration. Online registration is what families need to do in order to then complete course registration. How do you do it? Well, if you go to our giant welcome website, which is on our homepage, it was also previewed a bit in the beginning of this presentation, there's a link that you will click on and it walks you through the steps that are required to complete online registration. Please do that. I would actually go as far as to say, if you haven't done that, pause and go and try and do as much as you can now. Without doing our online registration, it will be very difficult slash impossible to register students for classes for next year until that's complete. So with that said, once your online registration is completed, we as counselors get to work with your students in registering them for classes. It's four easy steps. Step one, our department chairs work really closely with the middle schools, both of our middle schools in determining course placements for our incoming giants. That means we talk to middle school teachers, 
We look at test scores in some cases. We try to see what the best fit of a course is for freshman year. And those go into our infinite campus system by January 21st. Step two, parents, guardians will receive an email three days later on January 24th. And that email will detail how you can view the placements for your students. We show you how to log in and how to get to the page where you will view placements. Step three, we counselors at Highland Park High School on February 1st and 2nd come to the middle schools. We will be at Edgewood on February 2nd and Northwood on February 1st. We will go there, we will meet with every student individually and make sure they have a registration for their freshman year. That means we will look to see what their interests are. We'll look at placements. We'll talk about what classes they wanna take and we will ensure that their freshman year schedule has everything they need to have fun, to really get the most out of school and also to graduate um, in four years. Finally, step four, you as a parent or guardian can view what we registered every student for, your student for, in Infinite Campus. So you will go back in using your distinct login and you will see your son, daughter, student, you will see their placement in the system, you will see their registration, their final registration, so you will know what courses they're taking for their freshman year. The deadline to make any changes is February 11th. That means you will look and see what they're taking and make sure it looks okay. Um, and if not, you will contact us right away. After February the 11th, there are no more changes that can be made in Infinite Campus. So those are the four steps in actually registering students for the courses. Really, before we even do that, our department chairs work hard to make sure that there's accurate placements. So when we're working with the students at the middle school, we can see in the system what the behind the scenes work was in order to get that placement. And every academic area and our elective areas do things a little differently. So in the next few slides, we're outlining how each course subject area determines placements. If you look at math and science, those really are primarily done with conversations that happen with our department chairs and with the middle schools. World languages looks at the uh, a language proficiency exam, middle school grades, and also conversation with eight, eighth grade teachers. PE, every student will take PE. Um, it's an Illinois uh, graduation requirement that students, all students are in PE every single semester they are at Highland Park High School or any Illinois public school. As a freshman, all freshmen take freshman PE. Um, and then kind of digging a little bit deeper into placements, if you look at English, some students are placed into courses based on their current teacher recommendations, and then other students will have a choice of two course options. Our department chairs in a video coming up are going to detail the process um, a little bit more specifically to give you information how that's determined. Social studies, there are no placements. Um, students can take Patterns of World History, which is a freshman social studies class. Fine and applied arts, um, you know, the placement is just really what interest area every student has. So um, there, it's open enrollment and it really depends on what students wanna take and pursue and uh, have areas of interest. Music, um, there are auditions for advanced ensemble. And so those auditions are usually in the spring with um, our current students and you will get information provided to the middle schools on when those auditions will be for our incoming freshmen. So as we move to our next slide, we're gonna talk about electives. Electives are a wonderful way for students to really get involved. Um, we at Highland Park High School and in District 113 have, we're so fortunate that we have just so many amazing, wonderful electives. I always encourage students to take electives early on. You never know what you might absolutely love unless you try it. I have had students senior year be really bummed that they waited that long to start an elective because they found a passion and they wish they would have been able to take more classes. So we really encourage students to try things out even if they need to jump out of their comfort zone. Um, uh, we have uh, on the Giant Welcome website, the amazing flip grids created by every fine and applied arts, our world languages, our dual languages, teachers worked really hard on videos to give our incoming freshmen an inside look into what goes into their classes, what their classes look like, what happens in their classes. So really encourage you to take a, a peek at those flip grids because they will do um, much more justice to it than I am in just words. Um, 
And then moving on to a typical class selection. So as you're watching this, you might wonder, okay, that's great. And now I know classes, I know lectures, but what is my schedule going to look like? Um, and while I can't tell you exactly what every individual student's schedule is going to look like, a typical class selection would include four or five academic classes. An academic class is something like English, math, science, social studies, world language. Sometimes students take all five. Sometimes students will choose to take four. You will always take English and most always take math as well in terms of the academic subject areas. Um, and when I say always, I mean all four years. You will also always, all four years, take a PE class. Freshman year, that's freshman PE. Sophomore year, you will take a semester of sophomore PE and you will balance that out with another semester of health and that's your full year of PE. And then junior and senior year, you get to choose from a variety of different wonderful PE electives like yoga, outdoor adventure, unique PE. Um, so that's something to look forward to as you become a junior or senior. Finally, students will choose electives. And so students can choose between one and two elective courses, um, if not more in the areas of fine and applied arts, as I spoke about on the previous slide. We're really excited that on February 1st, we'll be at Northwood and on February 2nd, we'll be at Edgewood. This is something we have done for so many years and we will continue to do. It is really exciting for counselors to be able to come to our feeder middle schools and work individually with all of our future students in creating a schedule for their freshman year that meets graduation requirements, that makes sure that interests are represented and that um, you know, really kind of incorporates placements and academics and everything that needs to go into a schedule. So we are able to talk to the student, look and to see what they want, what they're placed in, and ultimately create a schedule. Remember, you as parents and guardians will have already seen students' placements prior to us meeting with students. So we're really excited that you'll have had those conversations before we even speak to students. So we're hoping those conversations happen at home. And then we get to have wonderful, wonderful talks about classes and schedules for next year. Here are some sample schedules. These are just examples. Um, please don't get too tied to these. We wanted to represent two um, unique schedules, example one um, and example two, as you will note, both have English because as I stated before, English is something that students will take all four years. They also, uh, both schedules also represent, P have PE on there. Those are the two classes that are mandatory all four years. Um, in example one, this is a student that's chosen to take all classes, um, all academic classes, PE and an elective of intro to business. And then example two is a student that chose not to pursue a language freshman year, but instead wants a study hall. Please keep in mind, we do not have free periods at Highland Park High School. So if a student um, has an open period in their day for a variety of different reasons, they will have a study hall. So in example two, this is a student that's pursuing choir, which is wonderful, um, and they are choosing to have a study hall. And, and there's many different reasons students would benefit from that. One being if a student just needs a period of the day to just be and decompress and maybe talk with friends or get some work done. Um, so that, you know, that would be one uh, reason that a student might have a study hall, or they may have dropped a class along the way and they're filling it with a study hall. So, um, you know, that, those are kind of, uh, conversations that will happen individually with counselors. But for the most part, these are two pretty typical sample schedules as we think about moving into next year. We're really excited about Homeroom. Homeroom launched this year. So that's the 21-22 school year um, from so many different reasons. But one of the most important reasons is that we, um, you know, research, research tells us that it's incredibly important for students to have a sense of community and belonging within the school day. And what better way with the same group of students for four years with the same teachers um, to create that sense of belonging. And so we launched Homeroom. Homeroom is currently this school year from 1014 to 1033 every Wednesday and every Friday. Things may change for next year in terms of when that, when that will be, but there will be a homeroom. Every student has a homeroom. Every teacher in the building teaches, leads, connects with students in a homeroom. Um, and so there's a variety of different activities. Sometimes it's a time to just look at your grades and talk to the teachers about extra help, but ultimately a sense of community and belonging is built in those homerooms. Um, and finally, but potentially most importantly, um, students get to hear their announcements every Wednesday and Friday. They're around four minutes 
and they're wonderful and they allow students to really know what's going on at the high school. And as we move into our next slide, we are going to see our wonderful department chairs speak directly about their subject areas, how their placements come about, and a little bit about um, their own passions in their academic areas. So without further ado, let's take a listen. I'm Dr. Lenny DePasquale, the English Department Chair, and I'm excited to welcome you to Highland Park and give you a glimpse into our English Department programming for freshman year. As an English Department, we want all students to build the foundation of skills necessary to be lifelong learners. We want students to develop literacy skills necessary to understand a variety of media, literary styles, voices, and perspectives. Students will leave each English course as critical thinkers and effective communicators who will make connections within and beyond the English curriculum. Here's what you need to know about English during freshman year. All students will take one form of English 1 or English 1 Honors next year. For English 1, the core skills are the same in all sections, but we provide different formats that work for the needs of each individual student. If students are placed into our support system, this will be determined through conversations with current 8th grade teachers. In our conversations, we'll focus on data collected in the classroom, map assessment scores, and an overall understanding of students' reading and writing skills. Students who are still developing their critical literacy skills and need more development in independent reading skills are placed into English 1 and Reading 1 course. In this placement, students take the core English 1 curriculum, but also have a second period of reading instruction where they learn and practice reading strategies. Students who need more time or additional support to access our core curriculum will be placed into an English 1 class with a once a week lab period. This is called Freshman English Lab. Students not recommended for English 1 plus Reading 1 or English 1 with a Freshman English Lab will have the choice of selecting either English 1 or English 1 Honors. This is the student's choice. Counselors will ask students for their decision when they register for classes this winter. While there are many pathways during freshman year, when students are successful, they'll have the opportunity and access to move into any of our sophomore year courses, including English 2 Honors. We're excited for you to have a great experience in your English class next year. Hello, my name is Kristen Andre, and I'm one of the Special Education Department Co-Chairs here at Highland Park High School. And I'm Trisha Lazaro, the other Special Education Department Co-Chair. Special Education is specially designed instruction, support, and services provided to a student with an identified disability. Each student receiving these services has an individual education plan, IEP, that addresses a student's unique learning needs. There are several programs and courses taught within the Special Education Department at Highland Park High School. We offer a life skills program and an essentials program that teach a functional academic curriculum that focuses on basic skill development. We also offer small group instructional classes known as fundamentals classes in a variety of content areas. These classes are designed to mirror the general education curriculum but also focus on supporting students' progress on their individual IEP goals. All of our students receiving special education services are enrolled in learning strategies or learning methods classes. In these classes, students are taught specific skills based upon their individual needs as indicated in the IEP. Last but not least, we have an alternative education community that promotes social and emotional wellness. Placement in any of these programs or classes is determined by the IEP team. If you have a child that receives special education support, you'll be contacted by your child's middle school to set up an articulation meeting. At this meeting, we'll review your child's specific strengths and needs to determine the best course load for their freshman year of high school. Hello, I'm Dan Kleintrout, the Science Department Chair, and we're so excited to welcome you to our giant family. To the Science Department, living a giant life means making good decisions based on evidence. Here's what you need to know about the science curriculum for freshmen. Placement decisions are based on MAP scores, your math placement in ninth grade, your eighth grade science grades, and eighth grade teacher recommendation. Depending on the course, you might experience activities like marble launchers, egg drops and crashes, mousetrap cars, paper roller coasters, Rube Goldbergs, and more. 
If you have questions, you can contact the Friendly Science Department at 224-765-2120. We look forward to seeing you at Highland Park next year. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Waller, the Mathematics Department Chair, and I'm excited to welcome you to HP. To the Math Department, living a giant life means thinking creatively and critically, taking risks, and developing active problem-solving strategies. Here is what you need to know about the mathematics curriculum for freshmen. All students will be placed in freshman math courses using a variety of data points, including their eighth grade math course, map test data, and conversations with eighth grade math teachers. Course options for freshmen include Algebra 1, Geometry, Geometry Honors, Algebra 2 with Trigonometry, and Algebra 2 with Trigonometry Honors. We also have an Intro to Computer Science course as a math elective option for students interested in seeing what our computer science curriculum has to offer. After freshman year, you will discuss future placements with your math teacher each year and have the ability for additional mathematics electives like statistics, if you have any questions regarding the math curriculum or placements, you can visit the HPHS website or contact me at ewaller at dist113.org. We look forward to welcoming you to Highland Park in the fall and including you in all of our fun math events throughout the year, like the American Math Contest, Computer Science Education Week, and Pi Day. Go Giants! Hello. I'm Jeff Hanley, the World Languages Department Chair, and we're excited to have your child join us next year at HPHS. To the World Languages Department, living a giant life means embracing the world around us. Here's what you need to know about the World Languages curriculum for freshmen. We're proud to offer Chinese, French, Hebrew, Italian, and Spanish. Students with no previous language experience will begin at our level one classes. Students with previous language experience in Spanish, both non-native and dual language, or French, have taken the Apple test and we will use this information along with teacher recommendation to best place students here. Students with other language experience in Chinese, Hebrew, or Italian can contact me to discuss the most appropriate placement. We offer honors and general tracks for each of our languages that are designed to best meet the needs of all of our learners. I'd also like to point out that we have different course offerings for our non-native speakers of Spanish and our dual language heritage native speakers of Spanish due to their markedly unique exposure to the language. We truly hope that your child considers starting or continuing their study of a world language at HPHS, as it is an opportunity to deepen our collective understanding of the world around us. Should you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact me. Hi, welcome to Highland Park High School. My name is Joe Breisowitz, and I'm the Department Chair of Social Studies. Living a giant life in the Social Studies Department means being curious about the world around you. Next year, your student will have the chance to take one of two classes, patterns in world history or dual language patterns in world history. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and I look forward to seeing you next year. Hello, I'm Lynn Hatsi Costanas, the Physical Education, Health and Traffic Safety Department Chair, and we're excited to have your child join us next year at HPHS. To the Physical Education, Health and Traffic Safety Department, Living a giant life means building our physical, mental, and social skills in order to learn to lead and enjoy a healthy life. Here is what you need to know about the physical education curriculum for freshmen. All freshmen participate in the same curriculum their first year at HPHS. Those who choose can enroll in the dual language freshman PE course. Our curriculum includes fitness development and a variety of activities with an emphasis on swimming and self-defense. Between freshman and sophomore year, we want to expose our students to all of their elective options so that as a junior and senior, they can choose a class that best suits their interests. The goal of our department is to provide an educational experience for four years that provides students with not just physical activity, but the knowledge and skill set to continue practicing a healthy lifestyle when they graduate. Please feel free to contact me if you have any further questions. Hola, soy Jesse Villanueva del Departamento de Inglés como Segunda Idioma. Para mí, ser un gigante es ser parte de su comunidad. En nuestro departamento de EL, estamos trabajando con los estudiantes no solo en sus clases, pero también cómo ayudar ellos a ser parte de su comunidad de Highland Park High School. Para ser un miembro de este programa de EL, estudiantes toman una encuesta donde dicen qué idioma ellos hablan. También, toman una prueba que se llama ACCESS. 
el access prueba es la prueba del estado que nota qué es el progreso de estudiantes en su habilidad en inglés. Si los estudiantes pueden mostrar sus habilidades, también pueden a, a recibir el reconocimiento del estado de ser bilingüe. Si tienen preguntas de este programa, por favor, pueden llamarme o mandar un email. Gracias. Hi, I'm Jesse Villanueva from the English Learners Department. For me, being a giant means being a part of your community. In the EL department, we do our best to not just work with students in the classroom, but also in how they become a member of our giant community here at Highland Park High School. EL students take a home language survey where they indicate that they speak another language at home. In the spring, they take the access test, which is a state test to look at students' progress in English. If the students meet the state's definition of English proficiency, they can also receive a recognition by the state in being bilingual. If you have any questions about the program, please don't hesitate to call me or send me an email. I'm Shinova Friend, the Fine and Applied Arts Department Chair, and I'm excited to show you how you can find your passion in our classes. In the Fine and Applied Arts, living a giant life is all about creating your passion now. Many of our classes lead directly to a career path or a favorite lifelong hobby. Just a few years ago, a young woman from Northwood Junior High School became a giant and performed on this high school stage, going on to receive back-to-back -back Golden Globes for Best Actress in a TV series or musical comedy. Here's what you need to know about the FAA curriculum for freshmen. You will need one semester of a fine art and one semester of an applied art for graduation. Besides these requirements, the courses are electives, so students, Make sure you acquire as much information about our electives as possible through the provided links. You can get an idea of the teachers along with a really good idea of what you'd like to take. In the performing arts, we have two sections, music and then theater, film, and dance. In theater, film, and dance, students can participate in acting one or one two, tech theater, filmmaking, or dance one. These classes require no prior experience and all can be taken in a semester or year long course. In performing arts music, we offer programs such as concert band, concert orchestra, concert choir, guitar, and dual language guitar. Incoming freshmen who are experienced musicians will have their auditions at their middle school later on this spring to determine if they are eligible for some of our upper level performance groups. In visual arts, we host arts studio, photography, metalworks and glass, ceramics, and graphic arts. All of these can also be taken as a semester or year long course. We also provide an array of classes in our family and consumer science area. We offer preschool lab, creative cuisine, fashion and interior design, and individual career development. Many of our freshmen love our intro to business course. In this course, students learn to open and operate their own businesses. We also have a new addition, our dual language intro to business course. In our design technology and engineering areas, You can excel at graphic arts for an applied art credit in our very popular engineering program called Project Lead the Way. This nationwide program is a four-year engineering curriculum designed for students who are interested in pursuing engineering studies. I can't wait to see how you create your passion at HPHS. Hi again, everyone. In addition to being the, one of the assistant principals at Howling Park High School, I'm one of the co-principals of summer school. Summer school is a great way for incoming freshmen to get an early start on their District 113 experience. Incoming freshmen have the opportunity to take a variety of classes, which will be published in our summer school brochure soon. This year, summer school will run from June 13th to July 21st. Typically, summer school classes meet Monday to Thursday, with the exception of the week of 4th of July, which will meet Tuesday to Friday. The location of summer school this year is to be determined due to some potential construction projects at each school. But all the important information regarding summer school can be found on the summer school webpage. Now back to Principal Finn, who will talk about getting involved at HPHS. We have so many athletic and activity offerings that I cannot even share them all with you today. You should have no problem finding an extracurricular activity or two or three that are exciting and fun. 
We encourage you to get involved because that's what true giants do to make their high school experience meaningful and rewarding. Joining a club or a team is a great way to make new friends and connections within the Highland Park School community. At the start of the school year, you will have the opportunity to participate in an activities fair during the school day and hear from Highland Park students about why they love participating in their activities. And if you just can't wait until August, check out the Student Activities website for more information. And for all you athletes or aspiring athletes, please plan on attending our athletics open house in the spring. You can learn more about our offerings by visiting the Athletics Department website. We know you may still have some questions, so feel free to call the number on the screen and reach out to our Counseling Department. We are so happy that you are joining our Highland Park family. Make sure to check out the various aspects of the Giant 2026 Welcome website. This is your go-to place for transition information. If you have any questions, as I said before, don't hesitate to reach out to counseling. One final thing before we wrap up, I'm gonna ask everyone to come back on screen, including some of our behind the scenes team members. Let's end with our favorite expression. One, two, three. Go, go, go Giants! Giants! Woo! Woo! <laughs>